Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to another Miles August 24 7 production. And today, we got Joey Harrington through the years, man. Now, we're going to kick things off in NCAA 2000, where he is a sophomore quarterback coming in at 60 or with 60 agility, 55 speed, 61 awareness, 72 throw power, and 62 throw accuracy. Now, when we look at his Freshman numbers, they look like this. He barely got any playing time because they had a quarterback by the name of Achilles Smith, who is another bust that we might do. Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, man, he played in two games, completed no passes, and had one attempt. That's his That's his numbers as a freshman. As a sophomore, eight games, 84 completions on 158 passes. He also had 10 TDs and three interceptions. Moving on to NCAA 2001, 67 agility, 63 speed, 84 awareness, 88 throw power, and 84 first throw accuracy. His numbers played in 12 games, completed 214 passes on 405 attempts. He also had 14 interceptions, but 22 touchdowns. So, not too bad for his junior season. Moving on to his senior season, his final year. We finally get an overall. And his overall is 88 overall, 59 speed, 79 awareness, 62 carry, 57 break tackle, 88 throw power, 84 throw accuracy. Now for his senior season, he completed a grand total of 214 passes on 364 attempts, completing a grand total of 27 touchdown passes and 6 interceptions. And right here, that is just a beautiful, fantastic pass. And he made passes like that throughout his whole career. And the Detroit Lions was like, you know what? You are our future. You, right there, Joey Harrington. You are the future of the team. He had a grand total of 59 career TDs and 23 career interceptions at Oregon. So now he's a Detroit Lion. And everybody's like, yo, he's going to bring us back to our glory days. You know those days back like in the 40s and 50s, right? Like Bobby Lane, I want to say. Anyways, man, in Madden 03, 73 overall, 56 speed, 68 awareness, 41 carry, 44 break tackle, 86 throw power, and an 84 throw accuracy rating. When we look at his rookie season numbers, they look like this. He played in 14 games, was a starter in 12 of those games, went 3-9 and nine as the starting quarterback, 215 completions for 429 attempts. He completed 50.1% of his passes for 12 teams. And 16 interceptions. Ouch. But it's all right. You know, Peyton Man, I believe, set the record for most interceptions by a rookie quarterback. So, Joy Harrington, that really wasn't too bad, right? Right. 78 overall, 65 speed, 62 awareness, 28 K, 54 read coverage rating, 72 throw power, and then he also comes in with an 80 throw accuracy rating. So, that was just his rookie numbers. So, I mean, hey, his second year got to be a lot better, right? He's 79 overall in Madden 2004 with 58 speed, 73 awareness, 41 carry, 50 break tackle, 89 throw power, and then an 85 throw accuracy rating. Now, when we look at his numbers for his second season, they look like this. He was a full-time starter, y'all. He also went 5-11 as a starter, went or completed 309 passes on 554 attempts for completion percentage of... 55.8, he threw for 2,880 yards, 17 TDs, and a league high, 22 interceptions. That's right, 22 by my man, Joey Harrington. Now ESPN 2K4, he comes in at 78 overall, 69 speed, 28 carry, a 76 read coverage, which is up 22 points from the 54 and 2K3, 61 for his scramble rating, and then an 84 for his throw power, and an 82 for his throw accuracy. In Madden 05, he is 83 overall, 59 speed, 78 awareness, 41 carry, 50 break tackle, 91 throw power, and then an 86 throw accuracy, and they gave my man Roy Williams, which was a big move, man. Give him Roy Williams, a young receiver that's supposed to be the next great dude. And that draft, of course, was stacked with receivers like Larry Fitzgerald and, of course, Roy Williams. So, I mean, he was kind of doing his thing, man, a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's check out those numbers, right? He started all 16 games. Went 6-10 and 10 as the starter. 274 completions on 489 attempts. For completion percentage of 56. He also threw for 3,047 yards, 19 TDs, and just 12 interceptions. Not bad. Those are like Alex Smith numbers. You know what I mean? Not bad at all. Moving on to ESPN NFL 2K5. Where he has 80 overall, 69 speed, 28 carry, 70 when it comes to that read coverage rating, 61 for that scramble, 82 for that throw power, and a 79 for his throw accuracy. And versus the Green Bay Packers, I don't believe he ever won a game. I could be wrong. Maybe he did upset the Packers, but I doubt that he did as he finds Roy Williams, who takes it 
to the crib. Now it's time to move on to Madden 06. And unfortunately for him, this was his last year as a Detroit Lion. Let's all have a moment of silence. I'm just joking. Anyways, Madden 06, he's 82 overall, 60 speed, 77 wins, 37 carry, 50 break tackle, 91 throw power, and an 85 throw accuracy rating for my man, Joey Harrington. His numbers for his last year at the Detroit Lions look like this. He started in 11 games. He completed, or excuse me, he won four games, lost seven of those games. You know, again. Not great, but it's okay. He completed 188 passes on 330 attempts for 57% completion percentage, 2,021 yards, 12 TDs, and 12 interceptions. Yeah. Anyways, Madden 06, next gen back then on the 360. He's 82 overall, 60 speed, 78 awareness, 41 carry, 52 break tackle, 91 throw power, 85 throw accuracy and right there he was very accurate to Mike Williams what, 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 what was Detroit doing back then Matt Miller you had to be one of the worst GMs maybe of all time anyways man Madden 07 as Miami Dolphins 76 overall 60 speed 72 awareness 37 carry 51 elusiveness 89 throw power and a 79 throw accuracy rating when we look at his numbers as a Miami Dolphin they look like this he started 11 games for them went 5 and 6 as a starter almost 500 completed 223 passes on 3 288 attempts for a completion percentage of 57.5, 2,236 2, yards passing, 12 TDs, and 15 interceptions. All right? I mean, again, it, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. So, so far in his career, only one time has he had more TDs than interceptions. Now, moving on to Madden 08, where he got playing time because you know what happened to Mike Vick. Anyways, man, let's look at what happened. 76 overall, Madden 08, 62 speed, 70 awareness, 37 carry. 51 elusiveness, 88 throw power, 81 throw accuracy. His numbers for the Dirty Birds look like this. He played in 12 games, started 10 of those games, went 3 and 7 as a starter for a completion percentage of 61.8. That means he completed 215 passes on 348 attempts, 7 TDs, 8 interceptions, and 2,215 2, yards through the air. Yes, and that gave him a 79 overall rating of Madden 09. I don't, I don't know how, but it did. All right, 62 speed, 72 awareness, 50 carry, 51 elusiveness, 88 for his throw, power, and 84 throw accuracy. He did not play at all that year as a starter, so he has no numbers. Moving on to Madden 2010, he was a freaking saint. Did he win a Super Bowl with them? I don't think so, but man, he's a saint in Madden 2010. 63 overall, 65 speed, 68 awareness, 82 throw power, 73 short accuracy, 66 medium accuracy, and a 62 deep accuracy rating. So that is going to wrap it up. His career overall is a 77.6, which I think is pretty generous. I think it's pretty generous. Yeah, generous. I do, I do. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap it up. Until next time, I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. We got a long list to get through on these through the years, so I'm going to try my best to knock these out. But until next time, y'all, peace. Hot sauce.